Da, dun, 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 dun. Well, isn't that interesting? Okay, guys, welcome, welcome. This is your host, Tiny Jester. We've got some mail. We've got some mail. We've got some things to discuss. We've got a lot of things going on here, right? Lots of things going on. So, before we get to the mail, let's talk about something else. National Pastime Next Generation Plus, right? Awesome game, free to download, very good system. Oh, only real issue that I have with this game is you got pretty in-depth charts, right? So this is the bases empty chart. Can you guys see this? Can I zoom this over a little bit? Turn it up a little bit? What do I gotta do? So you get the bases empty chart, two-sided, right? Runner in first, two-sided. Runner in second, two-sided. And you can see there's just tons and tons of sheets and blah, blah, blah. So what I ended up doing was taking all of these sheets and condensing them down into, ah, there we go. I can, took all these charts, right? So runner in second, right? All I did was just basically copy, resize, and paste it into a new document. So your base is empty, one-sided, not two-sided anymore, one-sided. Of course, the text and everything is going to be smaller because, of course, I'm trying to squeeze everything in. If you like the big size text, two-sided, you know, you can use that. But for me, it was just slowing down the game because I had to, you know, go back and forth every time. So now I think is, uh, I've got this runner first, runner second, runner third, runner first and second, first and third, second and third, base is full. I've got your hit and run chart all on one thing, right? Hit and run all the different charts on one page as opposed to six pages for the hit and run chart. Your bunting, right? I got that on uh, one, two, three charts because there's a lot of different bunts, squeeze play, sacrifice, et cetera, et cetera. And then your injury. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Got them all on 13 single-sided sheets. Again, it's gonna be smaller size, smaller text to squeeze everything in as opposed to the bigger size text that comes with that. So if you play National Pastime Next Generation Plus, but you find it a little bit annoying to have to flip charts back and forth just to everything, I'm thinking, you know, you get a three ring binder, right? You set it in front of you, you can flip it up, you have the page, flip it back, you know, whatever, whatever board you need. 13 pages as opposed to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18. And instead of 18 double-sided, it's now 13 single-sided sheets. So if you're interested in that, idjesterlive at gmail.com idjesterlive at gmail.com that'll get you a free copy of my charts for national pastime next generation plus so there you go uh really good really good system there I, I don't like i said i don't have any problems with the the charts the way they are uh obviously the only issue is when you're when you're playing it you right you got a runner in second, let's say you roll 36. Oh, you gotta flip it over to the other side, look for 36. You roll for the next batter, it's a 12. So then you gotta flip it back over to the other side, you know? So it is just kind of a, a, a problem. So I decided just, just make everything smaller, fit it all in one sheet, squeeze it in there. Again, I don't think that the font is too small that you can't actually see it. I think it's still uh, doable. For you guys out there uh i you know i i can read it and i got glasses right so i got glasses i can read it just fine it's not too small it's not tiny tiny but just to give you an idea that's let's see if i can zoom it in on something here so you guys can uh where is it come on come on there you go so there i mean you can read it from there right so it's not really really that bad anyways 
National Pastime Next Generation Plus. All their charts just basically condensed down, copy formatted, resized, squeezed into, and obviously as opposed to being a, a portrait, it's now landscape, just so everything can squeeze in. So 13 single-sided sheets, so if you wanted to, you could put them back to back, right? And you'd only have six, six sheets that way. Anyways, so National Past and Next Generation Plus, if you're interested, check these out. Uh, you can email me, ID Jester Live. I'll send you a free copy. All right, uh, don't forget, I just released, uh, let's see if I can show you this here. So don't forget, if you're interested in deep drive baseball as well, you enjoy deep drive baseball, I released some new charts for their runner advancement on a hit. I did a video on that yesterday. Go check out the video if you want to find out more information on how to use it. There is an advanced chart. I also have a simple chart. And I also have an easy and range check uh, procedure that you can do. Again, check out my video. Deep Drive Baseball, if you are interested in those charts, again, email me, idgesterlive at gmail.com. No spaces. You know, all lowercase, idgesterlive at gmail.com. I'll send you these charts as well. You can try them out. Of course, this is version one. They might be updated, but et cetera, et cetera. Uh, send me an email. I can send them out to you for free as well. All right. So there you go. There you go. There is two of my projects that are going on. I'm really excited about National Pakistan Next Generation Plus. Ran a game of this yesterday, and like I said, it was just a little bit of a problem having all those charts and the space and everything. So I wanted to get them so they're quick and simple and easy. Boom, I can roll, I can have the cards here, put the charts up here, you know, oh, base is empty, right? Base is empty, roll, roll, oh, guy got on first, I can just flip that up, roll, and everything's right there. I don't need to flip back and forth different sides and all that, so. Um, Looking forward to trying these out myself. There are no adjustments at all. These are their charts. All they are are resized to fit a normal eight and a half by 11 landscape. There's, you know, all the charts for bases empty for, you know, all the different charts. They're just condensed, resized and formatted to fit on the page. I didn't change anything. Trust me on that. So anyways, it's, we are now Gonna look at ID Jester mail. So we got some mail today. We actually had mail on the 14th, right? But I didn't get it all weekend. So I thought, oh, they must not have delivered it. They'll probably deliver it on Monday. Got home today from work. Guess what? Still no package. I go to the website. It says it was delivered on the 14th. I'm like, no, it wasn't delivered. So I went to the neighbor's street, which is basically my address, but it's um, instead of Avenue, it's a drive. We're on Avenue, they're on drive. And of course my package was sitting on their front step. So I got my package today and even though it was delivered on the 14th, not an issue with the guy who sent it because the, the address and everything is correct on the label, not a problem there. It's, uh, this is the third time this has happened now. Uh, so I'm gonna have to call the uh, post office and let them know and have them double check when they're delivering my packages that it comes here and not somewhere else. So it happened uh, at Christmas time and then it didn't happen for a while and then it happened and then it didn't happen again. And I noticed Saturday we had a different uh, mailman. So our normal lady must've been off or whatever. So he probably didn't realize there was a difference between Avenue and Drive and then delivered it to the wrong place. Anyways, let's open, let's open this up. I'm pretty excited to check this out. Really excited. So this is, I know what it is. You guys don't know what it is, but I know what it is. So this was uh, uh, something that someone had messaged me at idjesterlive at gmail.com and said, Hey, Jester, have you tried this game? Do you know anything about this game? And I'm like, looked at the, uh, he, you know, he linked me to the web address. And I'm like, never even heard of this game. Nobody I know on our uh, friends of the channel that I know of has played this game. And 
And so he's like, yeah, it's pretty cool, blah, blah, blah. You should check it out. And I'm like, I will. So I checked it out, looked it over on the website, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to try this out. I'm going to order a season. If I can get this box open, good lord. I want to order a season. I'm going to check it out and see what it's like. So, very excited to bring to you guys something that, again, I'm not sh completely sure that I've seen actually anybody play. Uh, maybe there is, but I don't recall seeing anybody play this game. Prior priority mail. Priority. Priority to the wrong address, that more like. So here we go. Here we go. Here's my little uh, receipt and everything from the place. And very nice. Let's take a look at this. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. So this game is called, this game is called, and I just want to just double check something. Uh, so this is a baseball game called Triple Play Baseball. Triple Play Baseball. All right? And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to pull everything out of the box, and then we'll take a look at it. All right? Shall we do that? So this is called Triple Play Baseball. I had never heard of this game until, like I said, someone emailed me at idgesturelive at gmail.com and said, hey, have you, do you know anything about this game? You should check it out. Uh, and you can see here are all of the cards. Now it looks to me, yes, okay, it looks to me they are... Okay, they are, they do have the perforation on, all right? They do have, a, it's hard to see, but they do have the perforations on them. So you can just, there we go, like that, like this, right? And take that off like that, all right? Let's take a look at, yep, yeah, all right. So very, very stratomatic-like with their, uh, or, I, you know, their, the way you gotta take the cards out with their uh, their um, I don't know what kind of formatting it's called. Anyways, let's uh, I'm gonna take out a card or two here for you guys. Well, we'll take out this whole sleeve. Why don't we? Why don't we do that? This is called Triple Play Baseball. Again, I have never seen anyone play this game. Um, and it looked really, really interesting because it's kind of very uh, similar to a few other games that I play. If you've been on my channel, uh, we have, of course, many different baseball games. One of them happens to be uh, Dynasty League. And it's kind of similar to Dynasty League or Pursue the Pennant or um, that kind of system where you're going to be rolling. I didn't do a very good job on this one. I'm going to have to uh, trim that off myself. That was my bad. So you're going to have uh, three 10 sided dice. You're going to roll from zero to four nine on the player's card. If it's 500 to 999, it comes off the pitcher card. And I'll show you guys a picture, or I'll show you guys the cards here in a second. All right. So they're uh, they're good size cards. Uh, if we get something to kind of compare it to, uh, so that's a good question. So uh, I'll get a couple different cards. Here. Oh shit. Uh, so here is a. Uh, oops. Here we go. Here's a payoff pitch card. So you can see the size of this compared to the payoff pitch. A little bit taller. I would say it's uh, it's just as wide as a normal, so three and a half. Um, the three and a half is how tall it is. Uh, two and a half inches wide, and it's probably, I think these are um, three and a half by two and a half, right? 
So it looks like it's uh, two and a half by four, maybe, is what that is. Two and a half by four. So let's look at a let's look at a card here if I can zoom in on it there. So I got the 2019 season Baltimore. Here you can go. So you can see he's a uh, right-handed uh, batter there. Versus lefties is a 234 hitter versus right-handers a 1.17. There's his position, his range, his error, his double play capabilities. Power versus lefty, power versus righty, speed, jump, hold, all the stuff. Normal, if you play Dynasty League or um, Internet Baseball League or Pursue the Pennant, all basically the same kind of system, right? All basically the same kind of system. Uh, and there's their web address, www.tripleplaybaseball.info. Really nice cards, really thick, thick cards, right? You can hear... Right? They're not like Stratomatic cards, which I've got a bunch of those out here. You can you can you can hear the flimsiness. Oop. Right? And then you have this card, you can hear the difference. Right? Uh, if you want to compare it to like a Stratomatic card, Stratomatic card a little bit wider and a little bit taller. But it you know it's a good size card. Very nice size card. I did get the color. You can order this game in black and white or color. Um, so I got the color effect, or the color, um, the color printout, as you can see. Uh, and let's see, nine players per card. So that's nine, 18, 19, 20, 21 players there for Baltimore, for Boston, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, 60, 17. Uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's about, um, it's over 900 cards comes in the set. The other thing they do sell, and I didn't order this yet. I wanted this, I wanted to first get a set and see what I liked and, and see, you know, see what kind of quality they were. Uh, really good quality so far. I really like clean look. I, I do think the color works well. So you can actually see the difference between the outs and the hits. Um, you know, they're color coded between the outs and the hits, which is nice. Um, so that is super cool. I do like that. I like the cards. I like the feel of them. They have a nice, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to they have like a nice grippy, uh, card stock to them. They're not like really, you know, smooth. It actually, it actually feels like, you know, you can, you can manage these cards, right? You can grab one, right? You can grab one and not get them all stuck together in a big pile, right? So you can see that. What game is this? D. Scott Howard. What's going on, my friend? This is Triple Play Baseball. I've never heard of it until someone had emailed me a couple weeks ago and said, Hey, Jester, have you tried this game out? And they've got, um, we're going to actually send you guys to the website right now. Don't forget, Deep Drive Baseball, if you're interested in my charts, I did a, I did a video on them yesterday. And also, um, uh, if you're just joining us, I also changed the National Pastime Next Generation Plus. I just reformatted the size so everything fits on one page. So you can see here, like the base is empty instead of it being you know, a two-sided chart. I just reformatted it, made it smaller. Instead of portrait, it's now landscape, and put it so that you can see everything in one page. So instead of having uh, a whole bunch of charts, it's only 17 or 13 pages. Sorry, 13 pages of charts condensed everything down. So if you want to copy of these, definitely check out. Um, definitely email me idjesterlive at gmail.com and say you want the National Pastime Next Generation charts. Uh, so that's that. And of course, our deep drive baseball charts. We posted a video on yesterday as well. Let's go check out. Um, let's go check out. Let's go to the site here. So if you're familiar with, uh, I know that D. Scott Howard is just joining us here. So I'm going to refresh a few things. This is very similar to Internet Baseball League, Dynasty League. It's a two ten-sided system. 
uh, the, the players are 000 to 499. The pitchers are 500 to 999. You roll, uh, and then you know a lot of times you're going to use different stats and 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 uh, abilities that are all listed here. But um, the cool thing that really kind of drove home to me, uh, where's my keyboard? That I should check this game out, and I will show you why. Triple play baseball game. Let's see. Uh, that's not it. Um, is this it? Yes, here it is. So here it is, triple play baseball sports, triple play baseball. So the one thing that I found that was like, oh, pretty cool. So Dynasty League, Internet Baseball League, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Kind of all the kind of similar systems, right? As this system is as well, very similar. They're all kind of the same thing. The thing that I've always said about Dynasty League or Internet Baseball League is just about every play you're looking up charts to get results because a ground out normally isn't a ground out, so it's a very in depth system, which of course, slows the game down. You have to look at the charts, you have to roll several times, blah, blah, blah. So, one of the things that really made me think about getting this was that they have something called the Triple Play Baseball Assistant. It's a free to play, uh, it's a free to download program that basically lets you get all of the results from the charts by just clicking on their little program. Right, so if you wanted to find out, uh, did the runner get a jump? It'll roll all the dice and let you know. You know, it'll tell you, okay, here's here's the here's the dice rolls that this player did, and whether or not he got an out. If you don't want to look up all the charts on a deep fly and find out, did it go to left center field? Did it go to center field? Did it go to right field? Did it go down the line? Did it hook foul? How far did it go? When, when, weather and and um, uh, wind direction and figure out all that stuff that's built into the game and the system. You can just use their little program here. And I'm like, well, that obviously is going to be super good because hey, the one thing that slowed the game down for Dynasty League and for Internet Baseball League and Pursue the Pennant in general, any system like that, an in depth system the only thing that slows that down usually is when you run into well i've got to look up a chart i've got to roll i've got to look up another chart i've got to roll i got to look up another chart and then i gotta roll again and you know before you know it it's like you know five minutes it goes by so uh they have lots of good stuff on their website brand new to me too uh I did not know anything about this, and I have not seen anyone in our Friends of the Channel community play this game. And so I was really intrigued. You know I'm a big Dynasty League, Internet Baseball League. I like the game. I like the system. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it's drawn out and plays really long because it takes a long time to go through each play. Well, this, I'm hoping, will take care of that issue and make it flow much quicker, much easier, much faster. Uh, so if we look at products, right? Uh, here, you know, here's the cards, right? So you're gonna have uh, zero to four ninety nine. If he's up against the left hander, we'll say we roll uh, two twenty seven. So two twenty seven versus a lefty, two twenty seven falls between one ninety four and two eighty two, which is gonna be a home run check, right? Uh, so I mean, you know, there's your power versus lefties, power versus righties. This is for your deep drive result. When you uh, get a deep drive, then depending on how much power you have, your speed, your steal, your jump, your bunt, your clunch ratings, uh, your injury ratings, your age, and all, of course, of all the player stats and everything, blah, blah, blah. Here is a pitcher card. It's, again, 500 to 999. Uh, and, of course, versus lefties versus righties and all of their stats. Uh, you can order the deluxe version in black and white or color. It basically comes with the dice, the score sheets, the instructions, the charts, and, of course, um, everything you need to play the game, right? 
they also have season card sets. Now, that's what I ordered, the season card sets. The season card set, uh, because I'm very familiar with this system and this game. Um, so I didn't order. Basically, the deluxe version comes with, you know, how to play and the instructions and all that. I, I probably don't need those because I played so much of this system that I probably know how to do everything just by figuring it out myself. Uh, but you also get a PDF of the charts, the rosters, and the extra, um, instructions. Uh, the other cool thing is the alternates, right? So you can get every single player, every, let me say that again, every single player that had at least one at bat or one third of an inning pitched is included in the alternates. And in this case, it's more than 300 cards. So the, uh, the base game comes with over 900, as you can see. Uh, and if you want to get the alternates, it's any player with a one at bat or one third of an inning pinch, more than 300 more cards, you can order those as well. All right. Uh, if we look at the season card sets, let's see what kind of seasons they have available, right? For I know sure there's people out there that are like, hmm, what seasons can I order? And if I can click on to uh, order, maybe we got to go to under under ordering, right? So here are the different um, the seasons. So 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2000. So everything from the 2000s up. 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72. So it looks like he's, he's going back to 1972. Um... It looks like uh, is all he's got right now. Um, so uh, pricing goes as fouls. Uh, so uh, if you want the colored deluxe version, sixty nine ninety five. So basically seventy dollars. If you want the color season cards set, which is what I ordered, it's sixteen dollars. If you want the deluxe black and white, it's $55. If you want the season card set black and white, it's $45. If you want a color alternates, it's $28, basically $29. And the um, if you want the color post season cards, it's $23. The alternates in black and white are $20. The color all-star cards are $12. The enhanced charts are $8. And the printed charts are $5. So there's your basic outline of things. I Like I said, I ordered the color season cards set, um, which comes with just the main 900 cards, right? And a PDF of all the charts and the all everything else that you need to play it. Um, but, you know, because I figured I didn't need to spend the extra money to get the deluxe. Because I got plenty of dice, I got plenty of square sheets, I got plenty of the other stuff, so I didn't need to spend that extra $10, right? So I just got this, uh, and then, I, like I said, I wanted to see what it, how the cards were, the charts, uh, see how it plays, and then, you know, I can always order the alternates later, which I probably will do, uh, and that's only uh, color alternates is like 29 bucks. Plus, of course, shipping, there is shipping on this as well. I think my order was like, I don't know, $10 for shipping or something. But you can see it's a pretty heavy, thick thing. So, yeah, I think with the TPB, Triple Play Baseball. Who has ever heard of Triple Play board, uh, Baseball? Chris Jordan says looks like Triple Play Baseball. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I had never heard of anybody playing this. I've never seen it. It is very familiar system to me because I play a lot of games that are very similar to this. Internet Baseball League, Dynasty League, very similar-ish. But um, uh, I like the quality of the cards, the card stocks, really thick, nice thick cards. Really nice. Um, like I said, they're, they are perforated sheets. I guess that's what you call them, where you you, know, you, you bend them over and, and in the right spot, right? 
and you can just tear them, tear them apart. All right? Look at that! Boom! Comes right apart. And we can do the same thing with this card. Oh, it just just falls right apart. That's nice. I like that. Oop, boom! 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 Just like this. Boom! 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 And then. Boom, 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 right here on the edge. This time I'll actually perforate them so that way they don't have all the little jagged things on the end. So there you go. Uh, triple play baseball. Never heard of it. I'm glad somebody said, hey, Jester, have you heard of this game? Because it looks really, really like something I might like. And so I'm super, super stoked to give it a try and see how things go with it. I think it'll be a really good. I think it'll be uh, quality. Again, now uh, let's, um, you know, let's go through some things here. Here's all the different teams and all the different players. If anybody wants to see a, a player's card in particular, let me know. Let's look at uh, Albert Pujols here for the uh, Angels. Albert Pujols, maybe. Let's see, Albert, right on my finger. There's Albert's card if anyone's interested there you go hello what's going on big clucks what's going on so triple play baseball uh like i said i'm glad somebody one of my subscribers i can't even tell you the to begin to tell you actually uh who it was again i forgot but he was like, hey, you should check this out because it has that assistant, which allows you just to look up all the chart results right from your computer and it'll help speed up your game. And he was like, you know, I know that's what your issue with with Dynasty League and Internet, Internet Baseball League and, and the system in general is because it's so complex. It's so involved. It's so it's so um, uh, there's so much to it. It's not just a ground out is a ground out right ground out is not a ground out in dynasty league eh, or you know pursue the pennant system or anything like that is it uh is it much different than the other two i don't know yet i have to review the charts and check it out we're going to probably have a game uh hopefully later tonight and you'll be able to check it out but i would have highly recommend First question, does the card set contain every player? Well, great question. Great question. Let's go back to ordering here. Now let's go back to the products. So you can order the season card set. It comes with 900 plus over 900 cards, right? But you can also order what they call the alternates. The alternates include every player that appeared in a game. So that means every player with at least one at bat or one third inning pitch is included. So if you want to get a thorough, complete set that had every single person that put a bat in the box and swung it, you can order the alternates and get those 300 plus additional cards. And it's like, uh, what do we say? It was like $28 for those extra cards. So there you go. Thorough for Beck. How's it going, buddy? He's a big, he, we're going to turn him into a big baseball fan. I know we're going to turn him into a big baseball fan. <laughs> so yes, you can get every single player. Again, if you're just joining us, um, triple, uh, triple play baseball assistant. We're going to be downloading this. We're going to be able to play with this and get to show you how this works as well. When you're in the range, outfield chart, and you're looking for a specific base runner advancement for the situation, don't worry. The triple play baseball assistant will instantly pop up the results. All the dice rolls can be seen on the screen, and you can always check with the charts or review them if you accidentally hit the wrong button. If you use different rules from the official triple play baseball don't worry the program can still use as a dice roller and you can use the charts that you want as an assistant to the board game and not a computer game but you're able to use it the way you want 
It's great price, absolutely free, free to play over the internet and, uh, using Skype. So you can download the Triple Play Assistant, boom. And like I said, you can click on what you need. In fact, let's try it out. Let's do it. Shall we do it? Let's just do it. Let's just freaking do it. Why not? Do I got to install it? Let's try. Run. Whatever. Just run anyways, stupid windows. Select a season. Uh, oh, I got to probably have to take this out of my zip file. So let me copy it here. Triple play uh, baseball. Let's see. Oh, that's the icon. That's not what I want. Now let's try this one. Oh, you guys can't see because I forgot to flip you over. Yeah, 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 run it anyways. Let's see if we can get this to work now. If this is a good game, then Stratomatic better watch their back. <laughs> ah, triple play baseball, guys. I'm glad somebody brought it to my attention at least. What are we waiting on here? Did I miss it? Oh, I select season. You must select a season for the charts. Okay, uh, what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? Uh, I probably have to Ooh. oh I gotta click on the 2019 duh there we go all right so here is their triple play baseball assistant sorry I not as <laughs> it's as easier than I made it I'm sorry so you want to show the dice rolls let's go two dice there's a 56 or three dice a 330 so you can get your you know, you can don't even need dice. You can just roll it here, right? We're going to try a bunt, right? So what's his bunt rating? His bunt rating is a three. You're playing on grass or turf? Ah, let's play on turf. Defense is playing... Uh, first base is holding a runner. Uh, we'll say no, and we're going to play normal defense. And roll. Boom. Sacrifice. Batter out at first. Other runners advance one base. Bunning for hit. Batter out at first. So there's your results. Continue. Let's try. Uh, let's see if a player gets a jump. Pitcher's hold rating. He's we'll give him a two. He's not going to third. He's not going to home. We'll just steal from first to second. He's got a run rating of. Uh, let's look at one of the cards actually. Uh, let's do Trey Mancini. Why not? Trey Mancini has always oh, got to jump a one, though. He's going to get thrown out, but we're going to run him anyways. Let's see. And does he get the jump? Uh, catcher's arm, pitcher, steal rating. Turf, plus one to steal, hit and run, minus three stealing, not held, plus two stealing. Oh, it gives you all the steal adjustments right there. Stealing. Yeah, uh, you must put a uh, steal rating. Um, total rating, and yeah, we'll give him a four. Why not? Steal. Stolen base. There you go. Boom. Excellent. Uh, let's see if we got a deep drive. Is deep drive on here? I'm sure it's got to be in here. Uh, range. Deep. Let's go for a deep drive. Albert Bulls, we saw, was a five power rating. He is in uh, Boston. He's in Boston. Where's Boston? Boston. Where are the hell are you? <sighs> Boston. There's Boston. So Albert Pujols is in Boston, right? The wind, the wind is, we'll just say the wind is coming in. And is the pitcher clutch? Or is the hitter clutch? Are both clutch or neither? We'll say neither. And Albert was a right-handed, uh, I think it was an RSP, if I'm not mistaken, he was an RSP. Let's see, can Albert hit it? And distance is only 23. Off the wall, double. Runners advance two bases. What do you think of that, huh? So, again, all the charts and everything that this program does comes with the game for free as a PDF. You can order them in a bound booklet, right, if you want. Or, uh, you know, he sent me the PDFs of them. Um and uh, printed them out and I've got them uh, but all the charts and everything are basically built into this program so let's uh, let's check on the weather 
right? So it's April, and it's going to be a night game, and we'll look at uh, we'll look at um, Cincinnati, right? So April night game in Cincinnati, and we'll roll the dice. So no wind. So this will this is what you do this before you start a game is you're going to roll for the weather. It's cold. Reduce starter stamina by four, and the fielder's error rating by six. So it's cold game out there in Cincinnati, April, a night game, right? So there you go. It's overcast, it's cold, and there is no wind. Boom. Um, let's do a range play on the infield, right? So range play, is there a hit and run? Uh, is you're playing your double play infield in? Turf, uh, we will say, uh, we'll say the infield's playing in. Normal defensive alignment. That's fine. Normal turf. Uh, range. Let's see. Is there anything else? No, let's roll it. Uh, landing style. Oh, right. Uh, he's a left. He's a left pull hitter. Here we go. Boom. It's up the middle. Short stop. Up the middle short stop. So up the middle short stop, we got to find out is he... Weak, normal, we'll just say he's average, and the range result is going to be toss, question mark. With a runner on first, hit run or infield in, then ignore to force a second in the pivot rating. Force at second and roll one die for the results of the throw to first. If the number is greater than a better speed in the pivot rating, double play. Otherwise, runners advance one base, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Error. Let's do an error check. Uh, error is a nine. Batter reaches first on an error. Runners advance one base. E1. Uh, let's do another error and see if we choose nine what comes up. So this time, uh, batter reaches third on a three base error. All runs score. Cool. Um... Let's check a balk rating. Balk rating will say three. Did he balk? Balk. He balked. So yeah, all the charts and everything, you can just, if you have a computer while you're playing, you can just sit back, use this, or again, you can use the regular charts if you want. That's, you know, either way. So this is just a free thing you can download. I thought you guys might like to see a little bit of it. It's, uh, yes, we can exit out, thank you. Um, so triple play baseball. We're going to be playing a game. I'm really excited to, to check this out. We got the 2019 season. Over 900 cards. Let's see. I just I took two cards apart. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Oh gosh, there's a lot. <laughs> Just trying to count them out. Just trying to see about how many cards I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's a hundred, uh, yeah, that's a hundred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. No one, twenty-two. Whew. Looks like a hundred and twenty-two sheets. I might have miscounted, so it might only be a hundred and two. I, I don't, I'm not going to recount them, but you, there's a ton. There's a ton, as you can see. Ton. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, I probably should have kept them in order. Damn it. Uh, right. So these are the batters. Looks like there are 16 batters. Unless I missed a sheet, which is a possibility. Let's see here. And then there's the pitchers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15. Looks like 15 and 16. So about 31, 32 players per team. Um, on, I would guess about on average. Um, let's see. Yeah, these are the... So, oh, uh, oh, yeah, here's a couple more hitters for Baltimore. There we go. I've got it back in order. Look at that. So we had... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Looks like about nineteen batters, and what we say, fifteen pitchers. So nineteen and fifteen is what? Uh, thirty-four, thirty-four players per team. Thirty-four, thirty-five, somewhere around there. Baltimore, or um, yeah, that that's I gotta run because we're going to dinner. But plenty of players per team. Again, it doesn't come with you know some of the lower level players, but if you want alternate players, you can get those. All the players that had at least one at bat or one third of an inning pitch, you can get all those players as an add-on, 28 bucks. It's like over 300 more cards for you, but you'll have every single player. And then uh, you'll have everything set. If you, got a, if you play near a computer, you can use our triple play um, baseball assistant to help you do it, the dice rolls. You got the charts. We got everything going. We're good to go. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the cards. Thick, right? They're not going to fall apart. They're not flimsy. Good queen look to them. So excited to try this for you guys later. Thanks, D. Scott Howard. Big clucks. Thorough for Beck. Chris Jordan, everyone else that came by, D. Scott Howard, everyone. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you later. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, actually get a game in of this and uh, show you guys some uh, Triple Play Baseball. Check it out on their website, www.triple, or I'm sorry, tpbaseball.info. 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 Everyone have a good night until then. We'll see you all next time. Thanks for coming by.